Hello guys, this is Adam from the Adam Lab, and today we have the M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 inch, the fully spec'd out version, but first of all, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry because the last test that I did, I did download the Intel version for Blender instead of downloading the Apple Silicon version because I just went there, it did an automatic download and I didn't pay attention, it was actually the Intel version. So I did download the Apple Silicon version and right now we have Apple M1 Max GPU enabled and then Apple M1 Max the CPU enabled as well but Metal Ray Tracing is not enabled because it's experimental, you know, as an experience like experimental and I am not a fan of that. Um, the specs for this machine we have 64 gigabyte of RAM, 8 terabyte NVMe SSD storage, 32 core uh, CP, uh, GPU, and then 10 cores CPU. So, and this is the M1 Max. So, this is the fully spec'd out M1 Max 16 uh, inch. And then the power uh, limit on the machine is set to automatic. So, the machine will decide whether it want to go higher or lower. Right now, the machine is cold. It's in the morning. And then we will go ahead and and then what we will do, we will do the test here. So right now it's on EV. We will do the test on EV and after that we will do the test on cycles. So let's go ahead. So that's a three, two, one. Here we go, the test on EV and we will render only one image. I have done the test before. It was really quick. It took around 20 seconds or 13 seconds. So give or take between that range and I am sure we will get a similar results. And usually when it's stuck like that, that's mean the render is actually already done it will just load the image and then we can go from there and uh, as expected it was already done it took 13 seconds to get that done now um that is the ev so after the ev we will go to the cycles and then with the cycles um for the cpu i have done the cpu already and the cpu took two minutes and 30 seconds so that is faster than the m1 by around 30 to 35 um, percent because the m1 the would take around 3 minutes and 30 seconds or 3 minutes and 50 seconds. So on the CPU, it's definitely uh, faster, but I do still think Blender need to do more optimization for a Blender. Now what we will do, we will go for the GPU compute on cycles with the expert, um, with the supported uh, set, and then we will go ahead and render one image of this as well. Now, I actually have done this uh, test already and I will give you the results, but then we will definitely take a look at it. When I did it with the GPU, it took around 58 seconds. From 58 seconds up to one minute and 10 seconds. So it's in that realm. And right now we are looking at one minute and six seconds for this particular test right here. And we are about to be done so with this test I think it will take one minute and 20 seconds so keep in mind it's 58 fluctuating all to one minute and 20 seconds maximum and the reason for that uh, for that fluctuation because we still need more optimization for the M1 Max on a blender however that's a huge leap in bounds than what it used to be a plus when it comes to um, the Intel version the Intel version took around five to six minutes even though it's going through Rosetta and a translation layer and all of that, it took six minutes. And here, to shave that, it jumped from six minutes to one minute and 20 seconds. And that's the results that we have right here. And this test is done. That's what we have for the GPU with cycles. And it's the supported set. What I will do, I will do the experimental set and then see if that does make any difference. And then we will do one more render as well and sorry for the sound in the background it's very early in the morning and you know washing dishes and all of that but because i made an oopsie i really wanted to get that video out as soon as possible and then the other video i would either delete it or probably have it set as the intel version uh, test because it was being tested on the intel and i think for some that does have some value or at least if someone is curious what it would be if you are downloading the intel version maybe it would show you how um 
you messed up just like me and then uh, with that it took one minute and 30 seconds that's what we are looking at and that's with the experimental and again with the experimental that's mean we are just testing things out and i do still believe there is more room to do more optimization for the m1 in general um, with the m1 max for a blender and then with the experimental it took one minute and 25 seconds which is just five seconds slower than um, the cycles with the supported set and we can argue that's in the margin of error well five seconds it could be in the margin of error it could be not this is the test for a blender this is the apple silicon version and then we will be doing more testing with uh, unreal uh, 4 and 5 so keep in mind uh, for that and i'll see you very soon bye bye